Think Tech Hawaii. Civil engagement lives here. Good morning. Welcome to um, Adventures in Small Business. Um, this broadcast is a collaborative effort between the U.S. Small Business Administration, um, the Hawaii District Office of the um, SBA, uh, the Small Business Development Centers, also known as the SBDCs, and uh, the Patsy Mink Business and Leadership Center. Um, as well as um, the VBOC uh, Veterans Business Outreach Center of the Pacific. So um, those four business resource partners um, are available to all of you uh, in the state of Hawaii. Um, in particular, I am from the uh, Small Business Development Centers, and I am the state director. My name is Kathy Wiltsey, and um, I wanted to uh, basically today go a little bit off of um, what we normally do is feature success stories of our clients. But um, due to a scheduling uh, change, um, I'm here today to just tell you more about who the Hawaii SBDC is and how they can help you, particularly if you are a small business in the state of Hawaii. So the SBDC is a um, business assistance program. We offer one-on-one -on -one, uh, business counseling uh, to both existing businesses and uh, people who want to start a business um, in the state. Um, the SBDCs are uh, readily accessible because we have offices on five different offices on four islands. Uh, there are two on the Big Island, uh, Hawaii Island, an office in Hilo and an office in Kona, and also offices on Maui, Oahu, and Kauai. So we are um, available on each of the islands, so that's uh, a, a definite benefit. We um, are uh, not just on Oahu, many people think that the assistance available is only Oahu-centric, and we are definitely not, so I wanted to make sure everyone understood that. Um, primarily, um, we, we offer um, a lot of services, and the best way to learn more about us and access our uh, information is at um, our website, which is hisbdc.org, so hawaiisbdc.org. Um, on that website, if you, as soon as you log in, you would see um, a, a, a homepage that has a list of services and um, many of the, the, the features and even our locations, the details on where you can find us, um, information on how you would sign up for services, both one-on-one -on -one counseling and um, for our training events. Uh, the one-on-one -on -one counseling is a free service because we are funded in part uh, by the SBA as well as we have uh, state matching funding in order to bring this uh, program to the Hawaii residents. Um, and we also offer um, very low cost um, events based on uh, recognized needs of, of the businesses and what we are told is relevant uh, to helping businesses out. Um, the, the services you will see listed on that homepage include uh, business strategy and planning, uh, capitalization, and funding resources, financial management, human resources management, 
marketing strategies, which include both um, traditional marketing approaches for business, as well as more recently, um, a focus on how to utilize social media uh, as a way to reach out to um, the public and or perhaps your other business clients that you may sell to. Um, we also do feasibility studies, so that is um, generally um, if people are looking at a, a USDA uh, loan, um, often in the agricultural area, um, we uh, can assist with feasibility studies um, and make your company or your idea um, presentable or viable for um, developing financing. Um, we also offer government contracting now, so if you are a regular business who sells business to business or to the general public, um, that is one area of service. The second area of service is for general contract or government contracting. And uh, when we say government contracting, we mean all, all the way from federal procurement and purchasing to county and, excuse me, and state here in the state of Hawaii. So um, we're working closely with the state offices of procurement, um, and we will be br bringing additional information to you and additional training as their new approach to um, state government contracting um, is, is rolled out. Um, another feature that often is not readily um, understood is we have um, a separate entity called the Hawaii Business Research Library, which is um, part of our, our organization. Um, and it's in the county of Maui, but we service uh, uh, business clients statewide. So, um, and the, the types of research that we can do are, for example, um, sample business plans, um, profiles of um, what a business may be looking for um, a, as it relates to competitive, uh, uh, potential competitive companies out there. Um, we, can, we can draw up some very specific information for that. And that's also um, available uh, if you look on our homepage and the services uh, section of, of what we offer. Um, one thing I would like to talk about now is a little bit of the numbers um, and how many people we've served over the last year. Um, I'm um, going to be sharing with you um, the information on um, our, our 2017 results, which um, actually are, are very good and we're very proud of, of the efforts that we have been able to accomplish. Um, in 2017, um, we served over 1,300 clients, business clients, in uh, the state of Hawaii. We created 363 jobs and um, It says 373 on there, sorry about that. We have uh, 98 business starts, so those were people who um, had an idea for a business or who were purchasing a business, and we were able to provide um, assistance to them um, to get that business started and actually uh, set up their licensing and registration and that kind of thing. Um, capital infusion is a very important um, accomplishment because it measures the um, assistance that businesses have received um, from our counseling um, in order for them to get, for example, uh, capital into their business. So this number, the 29,415,734, um, actually shows um, 
uh, it, it includes the numbers of um, investment, uh, capital infusion investment by the owner. Um, it includes bank loans, SBA loans, uh, potentially USDA or other government loans. Um, but it is a real reflection on what we've been able to add to the economy here in Hawaii um, as a result of our efforts. Um, you can also see that we did over 90 business workshops uh, last year. And again, those are on all islands, so you can, uh, the web page uh, indicates to you exactly which classes are on which islands. You are able to go to any that, that seem appropriate for you. And you actually sign up by, by going onto the website and register for classes. Um, the SBDC clients versus average businesses charts here talk about um, what business in Hawaii uh, accomplishes as far as sales growth and employment growth. Um, the, the red part is other businesses, not uh, other businesses in Hawaii that just in general, so it's just um, normal statistics. And then the, um, the other numbers, the um, results that were achieved by uh, long-term clients, you can see that uh, for the increase in sales, 14.1% um, of our clients, they had a growth rate, I'm sorry, of 14.1% compared to other businesses um, at 4.8%. And likewise, in the increase in employment, um, regular businesses were 1.4%, and the um, SBDC client improvement in number of jobs was 13% compared to the 1.4%. 98% of our clients um, found that our services are beneficial, and 100% of clients surveyed <clears throat> would recommend our services. Um, over the last several years, um, there's a, a second page to this uh, chart. Um, we actually reflect the numbers and the trends that have been um, demonstrated, and over five years, for example, our capital infusion number was very close to $140 million. Um, we've had uh, over uh, 1,400 long-term clients, which are clients who spend five or more hours um, with one-on-one -on -one sessions at the SBDC. We've had 424 business starts. And um, the total number of clients is 5,692. Training events, you can see, um, have steadily increased. And um, we've been able to reach very many people um, throughout the state. And I wanted you to notice that the trends are, are generally going up. So um, we're very proud of our results and the assistance that we can bring to our Hawaii business clients. Well, when we come back from break, we'll uh, talk about some other specific services and um, some guidance that may not be intuitively available through the SBDC. Hi, my name is Bill Sharp, host of Asian Review, coming to you from Honolulu, Hawaii, right here in the center of the Pacific Ocean. Asian Review is the oldest of the 35 or so shows um, uh, broadcast by Think Tech Hawaii. We've been in production since 2009. Our goal is to provide you, the viewer, with information, breaking information about events in Asia. Asia being anything from Hawaii west to Pakistan, from the Russian uh, Far East, South to Australia and New Zealand. We hope to see you every Monday afternoon at 5 p.m. Hi, 
I'm Ethan Allen, your host on Pacific Partnerships in Education here on Think Tech Hawaii. Every other week, Tuesdays at 3 p.m., we have guests on and talk about the fascinating, interesting, and unique partnerships in education that occur across the Pacific Islands with Hawaii, Micronesia, the Marshall Islands, Palau, Guam, all these places have really rich local education programs going on, and the exchange among and between these programs is a wealth of great information, helping the islands all learn how to survive and thrive in our ever-changing world. I hope you'll join us on Pacific Partnerships in Education. Welcome back. Um, as promised, I'm going to talk about a couple of other services that are now available um, at the Small Business Development Centers. Um, one area um, that is lately obviously very important are, is the area of cybersecurity. So I wanted everyone to know that there is, in fact, um, an online business assessment available on our website. So if you go to our home page, and all of this that I'm going to talk about today is accessible on our home page, um, and it features the, at the lower left corner, um, you'll see several featured links. Um, on those links, you can connect. The third one down is a cybersecurity online assessment tool. And this is both for um, business to business or business to consumer sales um, or for government contractors. So if you click on that link, it will bring you to a page that says Small Business Big Threat. Now this is um, a company that we and several other SBDCs around the nation work with to um, bring the basics of cybersecurity to businesses. We will also, in the coming year, um, be offering some of our own local classes besides this um, online function that is, is available. Um, so where you see it say, the, there's a logo at the top of the page once you connect to that link that says small, biz, small business big threat. If you click on that logo, then it will take you to a page that says, how protected is your small business? And then there is an option to take the online uh, cybersecurity 101, or for government contractors, there's a, a, also a version to um, look at your readiness uh, or preparedness uh, as it relates to cybersecurity issues. So that's, that's a really good feature that I would, um, we're going to be promoting and wanting people to um, work closely with their counselors, advisors, um, as it relates to cybersecurity. Another area that is really key um, is disaster preparedness. So one of the, I mean, as we know, the, the flooding in Kauai and Oahu um, the fire, the Marco Polo fire on Oahu, um, currently the lava flow and um, earthquakes on the Big Island um, are, are huge issues uh, in the state of Hawaii. Um, besides offering our normal services to uh, small businesses, um, we also offer um, disaster assistance both on the preparedness side as well as the recovery side. So our advisors are available to work with businesses when a disaster occurs. Um, and we actually also have links on our page that um, identify areas, other resource partners, and other areas that may be of interest in both preparation for disasters as well as um, the, the other federal or um, other resources that may be available. 
So um, one of the um, one of the um, available links on that page, on our homepage, is um, for the Oahu community. Um, there is an Oahu disaster assistance referral listing. So that listing, it's, it's very busy. We can't really share it um, on, on screen live, but you can download that. And it actually goes into areas such as um, tax relief, um, agricultural um, assistance, psychological support, insurance, um, disaster loans, um, health concerns, legal concerns, as it relates to disasters on Oahu. So this, this list gives you um, contact names, the agency name, contact names, and the website where you can get additional information. So that's a very valuable piece of information as it relates to um, disasters. As we get um, other counties' information, um, we will uh, also supply direct links on our homepage um, to those. Um, but right now, we only have that, that one uh, referral guide uh, for Oahu. Um, in general, um, as you know, um, hurricane season is uh, fast approaching. And one of the things that you should take a look at on this site, and this is both, it could be individuals or it could be um, for businesses, but there's a, um, many um, resources available for um, disaster preparedness. Um, on our site, you'll see um, kind of a hurricane uh, in the middle of the page down towards the bottom. Um, and it says, click on this for more information. In that list, um, or once you connect to that page, you would see, um, for example, um, there's an SBA disaster preparedness uh, link on there. Um, you would go into that SBA information, click on planning, and then there's actually a hurricane preparedness worksheet um, that takes you into all the details. Again, a lot of information. Um, probably, we couldn't possibly share all the details, but um, just so you know, it is on the website and it's readily accessible. Um, once a disaster actually occurs, um, we, uh, distribute and um, actually then encourage businesses to use this disaster guide. Um, it's a, all this is specifically addressed for disaster recovery after something happens. Um, as agencies like um, SBA and FEMA and other people. Um, uh, add to the data available on disasters, um, then, then we are able to um, link you to those resources, as well as uh, you can speak one-on-one -on -one to a counselor um, who, who can help you walk through this whole cumbersome process, as you can imagine. But um, the guide actually goes through um, several areas um, it's, it's designed, there's a, a workbook that you can use and make notes in. There's also additional downloadable um, forms as it relates to the worksheets that you need to fill out and be thinking about, information to pull together on your business and to prepare for your um, business recovery. Or if you're going to shut down, some of the legal concerns or other issues that may be appropriate at that point in time. So again, very, very meaningful um, data that's available there. Um, we also, uh, when a disaster occurs, uh, we, our advisors participate in the, um, uh, the recovery um, areas and um, 
we will we will be with, for example, the the county um, uh, resource partners um, to help people through the issues that may occur after a disaster. So I hope this uh, information has been helpful to you today, and you will uh, be able to uh, take a look at our website. Again, that's hisbdc.org. Um, and we look forward to seeing you in our offices or in the community. Thank you so much.